Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Snapdragon RSPS In today's video I'll be showcasing a brand new super unique custom skill that they have just released Now before we get into that, I just want to announce a really juicy giveaway of 20 of these brand new production tokens There will be one lucky winner winning all of these tokens All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed Make sure to turn on notifications Make sure to leave a like and comment your in-game name down below The winner will be picked in just about 2 days as always He will be announced in my community community discord in the server discord and on my pinned comments links of discords are down below in the description so definitely make sure you join those so before we head on in game to check out everything i just wanted to check out the discord with the new announcement about the new skill if you guys want to check this out for yourself you can either pause the video or make sure to join the discord yourself so you can read through this in your own time now as you can see the new production uh, production skill has been released to get to the island you have to just click the production skill in your skilling tab now all the npcs in the game will now have a static drop rate of a 1 in 250 to drop a production token now depending on the npc stats the npc will require that token as well as a specific amount of upgrade orbs to capture for your island now you must also have a specific production level for certain npcs so stronger npcs would require more orbs as well as a higher production level now after capturing and having the specific requirements players can choose to put them either in room one to six so players can categorize which rooms are for what now a maximum of 24 different npcs can be placed in each and every single room and players can remove uh, the npcs as well for their rooms but that will cost you an additional 500,000 orbs and an additional production token now players can either choose to keep their island public for friends only or closed which means for private only uh, all depending on what you want for yourself so you can just type these commands colon colon open which means that the island is open to every player you can also type colon colon close which means the island is closed to everyone besides yourself and then you can also type colon colon visit with the player's name and this will allow you to visit um, all their open islands for example now as you can see right here just a few shoutouts, but we're going to go down to the screenshot. So this is the new production token. Then you have the production skill, as you can see right there. Also the commands right here um, to explain how everything works. And then a visual uh, a visualization of the map. So you have the six different rooms where you can spawn in the NPCs. Um, and this is about how the area looks. So let's hop on in game right now to check out everything for ourselves. Right, so now that we have seen the Discord post, it's time to actually check out everything in game. So starting off, I'm going to click the production skill so we can actually teleport to the zone. As you can see, we'll get a nice display of the commands that you will get uh, or that you can use whenever you are on your island to open it up, close it up or visit another island. Now, as you can see, there are the six rooms that I mentioned on the Discord. This is pretty much the map. And in every single room, you'll be able to add up to 24 or 25 NPCs, I believe, which is pretty damn dope. Now you might be wondering, how do I capture these NPCs? How do I put them in here? How do I actually train up the skills? So as you can see, I'm level 58 right now. That's not the highest level, but also not the lowest. Pretty much, as you can see, I got myself some upgrade orbs in my inventory as well as the production tokens. Now, of course, I would be able to go to, for example, let's say bosses and go all the way to the bottom right here, um, go to eternal. But if I go to eternal, you'll see that I'm most likely not going to be able to capture these because I believe I would need a higher level. So let's use the production token on here. And as you can see, I would need a level 112 production in order to capture the eternal dragon. So that's not a possibility for me at the moment. That's that's why we are going to the lowest boss which is Frieza and hopefully I'm already able to do Frieza if not we will have to go to one of the monsters but pretty much as you can see if you want to capture any of these NPCs you can just use um, the uh, production token on here select the amount uh, or select the zone that you want to put it in let's say zone number four and I still need to get a lower production level uh, or a higher production level <laughs> so I'm going to go to a monster now you know what let's just go to the Virtus Warlocks why not I believe this is a very low tier NPC so this shouldn't be an issue now let's go ahead and use this one and let's put it in zone number four and as you can see we succeeded with that we captured one um, of the virtus warlocks that gave us a bunch of experience getting us all the way up to level 65 now if we click the production skill again we should be teleporting to our island and now we should go ahead and look for zone number four it's either this one or the one on the other side because of course one two three four um that's at least how i would count it so let's go ahead and move on to our island or to our zone right here and hopefully see it why am i lagging come on run over there 
Right, here we go. I was just in the wrong area, but here is the Virtus Warlock. Now, I don't know what happens if I attack it and kill it. Does it actually respawn and stay here, or do I have to capture another one? I believe it will go ahead and respawn. I'm just not 100% sure. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and give it a minute to see if he will respawn or not um, But anyways, you can of course get yourself all the regular drops if you kill it right here uh, Which is pretty cool You can get the mystery boxes and so on that you can open up and then as you can see it will actually go ahead and respawn as well after of course the respawn timer is done so I tried to kill a few to get myself one of the production tokens, of course, as you saw on the Discord, it's a static 1 in 250 drop rate from any NPC in the game, so I can kill this 250 times, get lucky, get 4 tokens, but I can also get 0, which, uh, yeah, I don't want to just grind out a bunch of NPC kills for a token that I might not be able to get. But anyways, besides adding NPCs to your zones, which you can just do by um, clicking this, I'll put this in zone 1. Let's actually go ahead and put like 5 of these in zone 1 real quick. This will also level us up so we can perhaps do a bit of um, bigger NPCs in a second as well, or higher tier NPCs at least. So let's go ahead and do that real quick, please. And there we go. So we have now done 6 out of 24 slots in zone 1. If we go back to zone 1 right now, we'll of course see all of the um, Virtus Warlock right there so let me go there in a second i don't know which side it is i'm always super confused if it's either right or left but i will go to this area real quick just to see and then i'll hop on to the other side so as you can see i'm now in the zone where my six warlocks spawned i also did arrange it before i recorded this video just to test out how everything worked now if i don't want these anymore in my zone i want to i have got my level up i want to add some higher tier npcs i can remove these ones again by just using this again on them however keep in mind every time that you want to remove one of these npcs it will take one production token but also 500,000 of these upgrade orbs also um, to actually put them in here you also have to pay a certain amount of upgrade orbs of course because these are very low tier npcs it doesn't take a lot of upgrade orbs but just keep that in mind that every time you add one of the npcs especially a higher tier npcs it might cost you quite a lot of these upgrade tokens so as you can see i've just removed all of these virtus warlocks from my zone and now i want to go ahead and try to get myself a higher tier npc in here now i'm first of all going to capture quite a few of these because i want to get my level up to maybe 90 or something so i can actually start adding some really high tier npcs so unfortunately i already went through all of my upgrade orbs i just got myself to level 99 as well i wanted to get a little bit higher so i could actually start getting the bosses in but it takes quite a long time actually and as you can see this is the zone that i managed to build up so this is my zone number two or three i believe and um, as you can see i put in a lot of shadow warriors including a few fears or freezers and um, normally this should be multi if they are close enough and you have an AOE weapon you should be able to kill multiple of them at once as I mentioned earlier they will go ahead and respawn as well so that's also pretty dope if you have like a collector necklace or something you can just go ahead and get all of these um, and then of course get yourself all of the upgrade orbs here as well which will be a nice little return on investment now of course keep in mind things like the Frieza which is a boss took a lot more orbs than um, the Shadow Warriors for example Anyways, that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to enter the giveaway. Definitely make sure to hop on Snapdragon for yourself and check out this very exciting brand new skill for yourself as well. I think it's super interesting. It's also very unique. I haven't seen anything like this on any other server before, so I'm really excited for Snapdragon about this. But with all that said, I'll be catching you guys in my next video, so take care and peace.